Yesterday, the Detroit Lions signed CFL Defensive Player of the Year, Matthew Betts, defensive end. And that told me that Brad Holmes is taking this pass rush situation seriously. Now, we talked about a guy yesterday, one of the guys that we expect to lose this go-round when it comes to defensive ends, and his name is Julian Okwawa. Well, his time in Detroit has officially ended. This came from the Philadelphia Eagles Twitter about three hours ago, says we've signed outside linebacker Julian Okwara. Now, Julian was drafted in the fourth round in the 2020 NFL draft. His brother was already on our team. He was drafted as Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn was going out. So he spent the end of his contract is over, was over. Okay, he did his four years. He was going to be a free agent this year anyway. Now, Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell have already begun the purge. And I hope that they have something legitimately planned for this team. A legitimate threat when it comes to the defensive line. Because Julian Okwara has never been and never was an, a any type of threat for our team. Now, if we go to his stats, he had a very, very subpar time in Detroit. His first season was 2020. He had zero sacks, played in six games. He has never played an entire season. I don't know if that's due strictly to injury. I know a couple of times he was inactive last year. He was completely inactive. He was on him and I, Isaiah Bugs was hogging up the inactive list. Had five sacks his second season. Now, Julian Aquara, the, the what happened with him is as the season was coming to a close, the Detroit Lions waived him. He then cleared waivers. They waived him to sign somebody else. They He cleared waivers. They put him on the practice squad. When the Detroit Lions did their future reserve contracts, he was not part of that. So because he was not on an active NFL roster, he could sign immediately with the team. And that is why he is signed with the team. So, for instance, let's use Isaiah Bucks. If it wasn't bad blood between him and Detroit, the Detroit Lions could sign him or any team could go pick up Isaiah Bucks when it comes to free agency. Even though that's what I was telling you yesterday about the tampering period. That is players on different teams and not on active NFL rosters. So, Julian Okwara, this I, we knew this was coming. This is not a surprise. This is just another cog in the machine. Sign Matthew Betts, drop Julian Okwara. Now we got to get rid of Charles Harris, and Romeo is gone as well. Both of those guys, I would be surprised if Brad Holmes brought either one of those guys back. Charles Harris bought out the first year. We signed him to a two-year deal. He hasn't been seen since. It is time. This move was totally expected, and I'm hoping that this means that, like I said, to start the video, that Brad Holmes is finally taking this pass rush serious. Not back. Dan Campbell told us that a lot of guys, you, you, they're gonna, they're gonna leave this team. You cannot coach with your heart. Like you, you're gonna have to cut some players. You're gonna have to make the tough decisions. And we know our coach can do that. Whether it's cutting a guy, a long snapper on his birthday, or going for it on fourth down in an NFC Championship game, right? He's able to make the hard decisions. He can't make the ultimate one, which is firing Aaron Glenn. That's a whole different conversation. But everything else he can do. Julian Aquara, no longer part of the Detroit Lions, and that is a good thing. It's a good thing. So it's time to move on. We have to get better as a team, and this is how it begins. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I don't expect anybody to be heartbroken over this. I'm glad it happened. We're expecting it to happen. Any day now, well, no, because we got to wait until the, the – I'm guessing that we get closer to the new league year. We'll we'll find out that um, Romeo has been cut and Charles has been cut as well. So expect some moves to be made. And, and that's why I don't be surprised if a Van Ginkle does come to the Detroit Lions. He's just one guy. He could be, it could be any number of, of players that fit what we're trying to do. So let me know your thoughts. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, my son dropped something. Go Lions.